I am working at the German Federal Highway Research Institute and exactly at the Department of Environmental Protection. In, we are interested in evaluating uh, the impacts of road runoff pollution on the surrounding environment, including soil and water. For that, we are uh, studying the several sources of pollution. We are studying their behavior and pathways, as well as we are also evaluating um, the capability, the capacity of uh, different drainage units, different treatment facilities as a mitigation measure to uh, protect the, uh, the, the surrounding environment of a certain road from the pollution. Road runoff contains several uh, pollutants um, generated from traffic, from road material and road equipment as well as from uh, several activities which are associated with road operation, road construction and road maintenance works. These pollutants uh, will be emitted directly to the air or deposited um, to the ground surface of uh, the road mm -hmm. And after that, the running road water, uh, run of water uh, will carry these pollutants, will transport them from the road surface to the surrounding environment of the road and will cause, of course, uh, negative impacts on the environment. This is why we need here a mitigation measure, a protection measure, such as a treatment facility to protect the environment from these uh, pollution loads. Uh, CEDRA is of course aware of this issue, of this point, and uh, established a program, um, a research program, Water Quality, uh, entitled as um, Environmentally Sustainable Roads, Surface Water and Groundwater Equality. These three research projects have, of course, several objectives, which can be summarized in the following uh, points. Uh, the first major objectives we are achieving, we are aiming behind from these pro projects is to improve and exchange the European know-how uh, related to which is related to the uh, road run of pollution and the impacts of this uh, pollution on the surrounding environment. The second objective is to develop uh, a user-friendly uh, tool or uh, several tools which uh, are user-friendly but also at the same time uh, implementable. This means that these tools should be implementable and could be used at the uh, national road administrations. With these tools we can uh, either uh, identify and assess the vulnerability of different water bodies to the road pollution and uh, identify which treatment facility we can use uh, in different pollution scenarios. At the beginning of each research program, uh, CIDRA establishes um, a program executive board, PIP, which is responsible uh, for the uh, um, technical support and supervision of uh, the projects uh, over the entire life cycle of each project. Um, in this program, uh, research program, in this water quality research program, I am the chair uh, uh, of this PIP uh, committee and with my colleagues uh, we, are, uh, deal we are providing technical support, we are providing technical supervision for the three projects and I am also uh, responsible for uh, facilitating the daily communication between the three projects and the different uh, stakeholders of each project. The second point is related to stakeholders. The three projects we are dealing with are relying on a dynamic and an active involvement of the stakeholders in each country. And with stakeholder, we are meaning here exactly the National Road Administration. We are trying to involve them in our project with the aim, with the objective to, to bridge any gap between policy management, between research, and practitioners at these uh, National Road Administrations. We are dealing with a uh, research program, Water Quality. Uh, with, uh, within it, we have three different uh, research projects. These projects are dealing with the situation of road uh, traffic and pollution within several uh, European countries. We are trying uh, with these projects to achieve uh, a unified level of information to exchange this uh, information between the several uh, European countries. Uh, the second uh, important 
point, which is also very significant, we are achieving uh, with these three research projects a unified uh, standard practice uh, which is compatible with the European Water Frame Directive and also at the same time which is implementable. Well, this is a very important point. The standard should be implementable at different national road administration within 